What's up guys, Kenan here from Marshall Golden Motor Sales and today we're looking at one of my all-time favorite cars. This is a 2000 Ferrari 550 Maranello. I'm going to take you on a little tour today and explain to you why this is one of my all-time favorite Ferraris. So the Ferrari 550 represented a huge departure from the norm for Ferrari. It was a return to the traditional front engine, rear-wheel drive V12 setup that Ferrari was known for before cars like the 5 Turbo Bonetta Boxer and the Testarossa. Luca de Montezemolo wanted to go back to Ferrari's roots of what they're good with, simple, beautiful design uh, with a car that could be used every day. That was his real goal with this car was this is a Ferrari that you could use frequently, put miles on, the maintenance wouldn't be too bad, um, and you could really use it as a gentleman's V12 GT car. And speaking of V12s, let's take a closer look at this five and a half liter engine and what a masterpiece it is to look at. I think Harry Metcalf in his video on this car talked about how it's a true masterclass in engine presentation. He couldn't be any more right about this car. Um, so pretty good horsepower too, 478 horsepower, but the real thing is the 419 foot-pounds of torque that this engine made. Uh, makes it an extremely usable car around town. Um, you have plenty of oomph to just sort of get moving. And then this is a legitimate 200 mile an hour car, 199 miles an hour. So I mean, with a tail and you'll hit 200. Um, but again, silky smooth engine. Um, the belts are mounted on the front of the engine, so really easy to get to belt services in this car are negligible in cost um, compared to some of the V8 Ferraris of the same era, um, but just a magnificent sight to behold. You could really look at this engine for a long time. It's, it is a work of art. Um, and of course, its variable intake system is very interesting. So as you get higher in the rev range, you get a little bit more power. So it maintains a really nice linear power curve, um, but just, a, just an absolute masterclass in how to present a V12 engine. So when you step into the interior of the 550, this for me is where the car really shines. This is my favorite part of it. Um, the main thing I like is that it doesn't only came with a six-speed manual gearbox. You get the traditional gated Ferrari shifter. This was the last Ferrari to come only with a manual transmission. There was no automatic option for this car. And it's a lovely transmission. The clutch is really easy to, uh, to engage. The shift, uh, shifting is very positive, um, and you get that classic snick snick between gears. Uh, it's really lovely. And then everything in here is covered in leather. I mean, it's just like the leather, and it's that like Connolly leather too, really fine grain, um, and it's just, it just, it smells great. I mean, it's the whole Ferrari experience, um, especially option with Daytona seats. I mean, you really get this, you know, sense that this is a place you'd like to spend a lot of time, and this car is very conducive to doing that. I mean, and it's just simple. Everything from the gauge design, very easy, very legible to read. All the information you need um, in the side pod here too. Um, and, you know, just simple, you know, mirror controls down here. Um, a radio, this one has the original. This is an aftermarket uh, Alpine unit. Um, just simple climate controls, simple row of switches, um, sport mode, which I think Doug Jamiro said in his video, it's hilarious that a Ferrari needs a sport mode, it isn't a Ferrari, isn't the whole thing a sport mode? Um, but this really is a GT car, so it makes sense that it has this split personality, because it has the performance of a sports car, but it really is designed for those long, uh, you know, continent-crushing, um, you know, cruises. It also has a luggage um, parcel shelf in the back, so, I mean, there's plenty of room to put stuff in here. We'll take a look at the trunk in a second, um, just so I can show you the tools and stuff like that, but... It's just a remarkable place to spend time, and um, and you still get all the classic Ferrari stuff. Like I said, shifter, you get the classic horn, all that cool stuff. So let's take a look at the trunk, um, see what's in there. So when you come to the rear of the 550, again, you see the classic Ferrari design coming through. Just like the Daytona and cars like that. It doesn't say the model designation anywhere. You just have the Ferrari logo and the Cavalino. That's it. Quad tail lamps, quad exhaust. Just a classic looking rear of the car, just absolutely gorgeous. But opening the trunk, you do have some room in here. It's not tons and tons of room, but you do definitely have room for a set of golf bags. Um, and then looking here, we have uh, some service documentation that came with this car, but the coolest thing is that we have the original window sticker. Um, this car originally stickered for $215,492 in 2000. So it was definitely an expensive car, a proper Ferrari, but compared to ones now, I mean, there are very few options. Really the only option in the car that's spec'd on here is that it had Daytona style seats. That was really about it. Um, Cause there just weren't that many options back then. But uh, opening up the secret storage compartment down here, you can see we have a uh, Ferrari charger that comes with it. Um, the original um, tire inflation kit, that uh, aftermarket stereo, or the original stereo that I was talking about. And then you get something you don't get anymore, and that is the Ferrari tools. 
And this leather is in like perfect shape. This probably has never seen the sun before, um, but you get the classic Ferrari Cavallino on there and you open it up and then it's just a beautiful selection of tools that you will never use. Um, so, so uh, and over here on this side, you have, I believe, just bulbs um, and some spare cam belts, because of course you're gonna change the cam belts on the side of the road in your Ferrari. Um, but, you know, this one just in absolutely pristine condition. And again, something you don't get with modern Ferraris anymore. You get a tow hook and you basically take it to the dealer and that's about it. But um, just goes to show that this was designed to be a true driver's Ferrari. Okay, so that wraps up the tour on this car. Uh, I hope you enjoyed taking a little look around the 550. And again, it's my favorite for a number of reasons. It is a return to the old school Ferrari layout. It has a V12, it has a manual, it's built to be used frequently. And right now they are still quite a good value. This one has 10,000 miles on it and we're asking 179.9 for it. Um, but it's still a wonderful car to drive. I, I can't think of another Ferrari that I would rather spend lots and lots of time in. My beloved 355 is not a car you want to spend more than sort of two hours in at a time. But this, you can drive it from coast to coast and have no problems. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Check out all of our cars on marshallgoldman.com. And I will see you guys in the next one.